Alrighty, guys, how's everybody doing? We're going to look at Marcus Wimberly here and from B Besquite, Arkansas. Uh, ba ba Backskeet, Arkansas. Um, one of the most interesting cities that I've actually have never heard of um, before, but I'm so glad that I've heard of it. Uh, Besquite is located, the Besite Miners, they're located like a half hour from Little Rock, kind of near Turkey on it looks like, in southwest Arkansas. And this is the type of player that he's just the best athlete on the field at, at Besite for this, for this high school. And he competes in track and baseball. He's 6'1", 200 pounds, he kind of relates a little bit. I know that it's another small town guy, but Jaron Kanick, I mean, I think that Kanick is, you know, a little bit faster. But, you know, right there you just see um, Marcus, right? Marcus Wimberly. You see just incredible physical. Like, I love this hit. Guys coming across the middle. Um, the throw leads him too much. That's what you call like a you know, what you call in the 90s and the 2000s a hospital ball because your quarterback is laying this dude's ribs out. And there he gets his shoulders in. He takes his head away from the play, gets his shoulders in. It's a contact sport. That's a huge knock. That's kind of why I was gravitated as a fan to the game of football is because of, like, hits. Like, this guy hits hard. And I think that Brent Venables and Zach Alley, I think that they really appreciate it. So I could really see him being maybe possibly, he's 200 pounds, he's very stout. He could be an off-ball linebacker. I don't think that middle linebackers are usually, what are they, 6'1 or 6'2? I mean, we'll have to look at like a Jack Campbell of Iowa. I really think that this guy would have been great at, at Iowa. Um, and making him into just a stud linebacker and letting him kind of develop. I'm surprised that Nebraska also is not involved in his recruitment also. He's kind of from that, that region. If he wants to play defense, like Zach Alley's just so young um, in order to play defense, but Brent Venables was also good with these safety kind of hybrid players, and I'm sure that he probably has a position that he wants them. Now, for Arkansas in-state, it's disappointing that Sam Pittman and the staff wasn't able to land a player like this, but their defensive staff is so young at Arkansas, and I think that Bobby, again, he's so fast. I think he's going to be playing, I'd say he's playing defense, and I'd say he's going to be a strong safety in the box. Maybe that rover, that safety linebacker hybrid is going to be perfect for a guy like Marcus Wimberly. But could you imagine a kid from Besiet, um, a star athlete like he is at Besiet, Arkansas, if he makes it at Oklahoma, if he's starting at Oklahoma, if he's – the kid's going to be a fan favorite. Um, I'm sure everybody in the town is rooting for him in Besiet. It's a really small town known for aluminum. Uh, that That's what I actually looked up. Um, probably hardworking, great people. And I, I'm so excited for Marcus Wimberly. Congratulations. Um, committing to Oklahoma – he is a high three-star recruit, and he has incredible, incredible athleticism. Here he flexed out at wide receiver. Sometimes QB draw, just take it 60. But there you see just him lay out and really make a catch. So he'll do everything. Like, this is a guy that's totally not pretentious. Like, he's willing to play both sides of the football, okay? He loves his community, loves his town's team, I'm sure, because he puts his body on the line. Yeah, never heard an interview of Wimberly, but I'm excited to hear this. He puts his body on the line for the team. You could just see the character of the football player in the tape. He is not afraid to stick his, you know, his nose in the fan, okay, and absolutely blast people. All right, and here could, could we see what's going to maybe go on at, uh, at Oklahoma, which is some speed. Again, I think he's going to be a linebacker. 
because as a safety covering over the top in the SEC, guys are going to be really, really fast. But as an off-ball linebacker, he'll be able to cover that outside zone really well. He's going to continue to tackle. He's going to get, attack the weight room. He's going to put on like 30 to 40 pounds. He's going to be about probably 6'1", 230, 240. And eventually, like in sophomore year, he's just going to be a beast. He's going to kind of be unblockable. And he's going to be a starter as a linebacker. I really believe it as an off-ball linebacker is what I project him out to be. Um, can't wait. Uh, can't wait to see Marcus's journey here. Wishing him the best of luck and a really exciting player. And, and Oklahoma, they just are recruiting so well. You know, you got Stone coming in, who's a great, great player. Probably a top 10 class last year. And they're winning a lot of these battles, and they win a battle that is very close to Sam Pittman. Sam Pittman was born in Oklahoma. Sam Pittman from Oklahoma. Sam Pittman desperately wanted to beat Oklahoma. And he always liked Arkansas, Sam Pittman as a kid. And now you're losing an in-state guy that is a really, really talented in-state player that actually has a lot of speed. I know that you're going to have to project him out to be a linebacker. He is a developmental player, and he is a three-star. But I like the developmental piece, okay? And also, it's just exciting uh, to see somebody from a smaller town like this get a big-time offer like it's inspiring for everybody in uh, southwest Arkansas, although I'm sure that they all love the hogs uh, in Besiet. So again, Marcus Wimberly, a little film review here late at night going to Oklahoma.